Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Uh, today we're cooking. I've had a lot of requests to do some more cooking videos, and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite quail recipes. What you're going to need to get together is quail, however many you want, a couple of jalapenos. Um, I usually about half a jalapeno per bird, something like that. Um, some barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. Cheddar cheese or cream cheese or, or whatever kind of cheese you like. I'm going to use cheddar today, and this is shredded, but honestly, I'd probably prefer block cheese to cut slices with, but I don't have any. I have shredded, so shredded is going to work. And some bacon. You want some fairly thin bacon. We're going to make some uh, quail poppers here. Okay, so first things first. Let me get some stuff out of the way here, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, first things first, I need to get the uh, breast off the quail themselves, and this is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to start back here at the legs and just remove the legs. They come off relatively easy. There's a joint right there, and uh, you, you almost don't even need any knife work to get them off there. Now, I'm going to save these. There's not a lot of meat on the on the legs, but I am going to go ahead and cook these up and uh, bake them off. No sense in wasting them. There'll be a bite or two on there. So, let me get this one off here. Okay, so I've got the legs removed. Now, to uh, get the uh, breast off the quail, you can see the line that runs right down there. That's the spine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right here at the front and just kind of follow that spine all the way back. Just run my knife right along the edge of that spine. I'm not cutting very deep. I'm just kind of cutting into that. And then I'm going to follow that around. There's a wishbone right here. Um, you might be able to see it, the wishbone right there. So I'm going to follow that edge with my knife and... Uh, cut down to the bottom. And then the rest of it is just uh, kind of follow the ribs down, cut as much meat away from the ribs as you can, and uh, it usually comes off fairly easy in uh, kind of one piece. And there we go. There's one breast down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut right here at the front just a little bit, just to pierce the meat. Follow it all the way down the backbone. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. And then around the front, I'm going to follow the, uh, the wishbone all the way down. And then just kind of cut the, uh, cut the meat away from the ribs as I go. All right, these are pretty good sized jalapenos, so I'm probably only going to need uh, maybe a quarter one. I went ahead and cut them in slices, just a, a quarter piece. Took all the ribs out of them so there's no heat left to them or anything like that. Um, I'm going to need to get my bacon all ready here, so let me get that opened up. Okay, so I got a couple of these done already, and I kind of didn't have the camera going, so I'll show you how I do it on this one here. So um, pretty simple. You just take a piece of bacon, lay it out. I'm going to lay my quail on. I'm going to lay it kind of up here towards the top because I'm going to wrap around it this way, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to stick a piece of jalapeno in there. I'm going to put some uh, cheese on top. And this is going to make a little bit of a mess because I'm using shredded cheese. I think block cheese would be better, but hey, that's I'm using what I got. Then you take the other quail breast and you just lay it over on top of that, kind of make a sandwich between the two of them. And then I'm going to wrap it up with this bacon. So if you can get it to uh, all hold together and kind of turn... Get that bacon started, and then I should be able to pick it up and just kind of wrap it to hold the whole thing together. And then a toothpick right through the edge of it to uh, kind of hold it all together while it cooks. And there we go. There it is. That's going to go on a baking tray here. Let me get the rest of these done. We'll come back and uh, we'll get the next step going. All right, so I got my quail all ready to go on a tray here. What I did is I just lined this tray with aluminum foil to kind of catch the bacon drippings, make it a little bit easier to clean up. And I've got them on a rack to raise them up off the tray so they'll you know, not be sitting in their own grease and all that the whole time. Um, I'm going to put these in a 400 degree oven and uh, just cook it until the bacon's done. That's probably going to be 20 minutes roughly. Um, I've got the legs over here on the side and I just sprinkled them with some Greek seasoning. They're going to go in the same oven, but they'll cook much, much faster. So probably after about... Four minutes, I'll flip them over. Another four minutes, take them out, and they should be done. And then let these continue to cook until uh, they finish up. Like I said, probably 20, 25 minutes. I'll let you know the final time whenever they come out. All right, these are finished now. And they ended up taking about almost 40 minutes. Actually, probably went just a little bit overboard on them, but that's okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is just baste these down with some barbecue sauce because barbecue 
bacon and jalapeno go so well together. Now I've made these um, a couple of different ways. This is one of my favorites. I've made them with cream cheese in the middle instead of cheddar cheese, but it's a little bit mild tasting, so it, I, I like a stronger flavored cheese. I've also made them with blue cheese in the middle and then used a, uh, a buffalo sauce to baste them with afterwards instead of barbecue sauce. So that's about all there is to it. You serve these with some uh, barbecue sauce on the side for dipping if you want to, and uh, you're good to go. Let's cut one of them open and see what it looks like. Mm. Smells fantastic. And there we go. Make sure that shows up on camera. And there we go. There's the inside with some cheese, some jalapeno, bacon, and barbecue all the way around. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that recipe. Try it yourself. Let me know what you think of it or if you have a variation that uh, is even better. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, as always, God bless.